Stop planner here, talking about the high price of gas. It'll soon reach $5 in most areas. Some say it'll go up to $10 a gallon. It's a pretty sure thing that our energy prices are going to rise. And during this inflation, recession type situation, where many of the sectors are going down, oil seems to be going up. I'm not going to do a lot of analysis on this one. Exxon Mobil, everybody knows the name. It's a huge company. It's a guarantee they'll be raising their prices to match inflation. So let's get started. Before I do, the Stock Planner Channel is an education channel, and we share our ideas with the hopes that it'll become a better trader, we become, become more consistent. We have to do our own due diligence, and you're responsible for your trades. I would not follow anybody as far as trade for trade on the Internet. Only when you do your own trades and understand what you're doing can you make some money. Let's get started. ExxonMobil. Oil and natural gas. It's an international company. Been around a long, long time. According to Simply Wall Street, it is trading below its estimate for fair value. Well, that may be. It pays a dividend. Uh, who knows what the future is based on the green energy stuff. But, but they are investing in green energy technology. The health of this company is, is good. And it had a few bad years. Earnings are forecast to decline over the next three years. With the situation in Russia and Ukraine, I think we have a little time. The dividend is 3.75. This is Snowflake. You want them big and green if you can. It's a competitor, Chevron. These are the two I like. The Saudi Arabia oil is a little greener than these are. All depends if you're long, but I don't think it matters right now. And this is what the price looks like. Price chart. Seems that it's having a good 2022. And Seeking Alpha does look at the two I just mentioned, Exxon and Chevron. And they liked Exxon the best in that article there. But we're looking at this article, Rising Energy Prices. And this is a Simply Wall Street article. You can get it out on the Internet. Simply Wall Street has a free version and a paid version. This, this, you can get this one for free. There's going to be a tightening of supply, causing the prices to rise. That's a short thing. U.S. and gas companies, oil and gas, natural gas, are all positioned to capture this windfall. Europe is going to wean off of Russian oil, and so when they need somebody, that maybe we can sell it to them. And they have, as I said, made some investments in clean energy. This company is going to be a wreck back around for a little bit. Here's a free trading view chart of ExxonMobil on the daily time frame, and we see that trend up. I'm a swing trader. And I try to capture these swings in the market. And right now, it seems to be going up. This is a zigzag. If we can capture these swings in the trend between them, we can make some serious bank. So we need it. The zigzag is a, it needs future data. It only prints this out when it knows exactly what it's doing. It uses future data and repaints itself. We don't have that ability. We have to look at indicators that don't repaint themselves, that give an indication of the prices so when the macd that's this one here is above the zero we can look for shorts when the stochastic goes above the 80 and comes back around that's when we look for a short and when the rsi is above the 70 and come back around that's when we can look for a short and when these conditions occur all at the same time that's my three indicator strategy and we can look for a short and then we have predicted that little short there and likewise the opposite is true when the MACD is below the zero, the MACD, excuse me, the stochastic RSI comes back around over its 20, and the RSI comes back around over its 30. When those three occur, you can go for a long. This occurred a few days ago. The RSI, the stochastics, and the MACD all occurred a few days ago. And that was after dividend, by the way. There was a dividend right there in the earnings. And we've seen them have to be trending up. Now, certainly there's a peace deal. Well, this is all going to go haywacky. But I think over the next five or six months, this is going to go to about 105. This is 100 right here. And go above that to about 105. Okay, let's, let's see if we can go ahead and find something that if the stock goes above 105 in the next five or six months, we'll make some money on a, on a small investment. I don't, want, I don't want to invest a lot because there's a lot of risk in the market. Using a tool called the Option Strat, it's a simulation, option simulation tool, and going out to November, 179 days, that's 180 days, six months, 
ExxonMobil trading at 93 and we said well, we we think it's going to go at least to 100 105 and so I'll take that put the short strike so that the price comes moving in it and sell and buy a 95 for protection sell the 97.50 and buy 95 that's two dollars and 50 cents wide strike that's the margin I would need to have and I get a credit money in my bank account of 135 dollars and a max loss of, of 115 that's 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 good so let's just look the break even has to be above 96 at expiration but I don't want to stay in that long my max loss is is 115 approximately a hundred dollars just like and I want it to go to about 105 and I want to take profit somewhere in August September let's say my playing fee is right there and so if it does get to there I want to take around 50 bucks fifty dollars profit on a hundred dollars loss is what fifty percent that fits the requirement in about four months and then I could use the money to do another trade and I want to keep my loss at around eight percent so I really even though my max loss is 115 I want to keep it to around 40 bucks and that way I'm trying to make fifty dollars on a, and only lose forty dollars now I don't know which way things are going. I never know. Nobody can predict the the direction of the market. But this is a relatively low cost. I'm risking only a hundred dollars in order to make fifty percent on my investment. I like this trade. What do you think? As long as this stock stays above ninety six fifteen, we have some profit. It goes down below, we got some loss. This is the expiration, and I showed you the the table where you can take profit a little earlier and I do will it get above 96 it's not it's not quite there yet 96.15 or is it going down this direction here nobody can predict the direction of the market but it that's trading is the kind of kind of guess and I use the technical analysis and a little fundamental analysis to try to give me that edge and these are the indicators I use the RSI the stochastics and the MACD and my settings for these indicators are in the description below these indicators are free on trading view well happy trading will catch you on the flip remember do your own work develop your own strategy and win